Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Jeffrey Wei, your host, and I want to take a look today at the differences between the jQuery methods delegate and live because they're somewhat similar, they're somewhat different. It's really confusing when um, they almost do the exact same thing, but not quite. So we're going to take a look at that today. Uh, let's take a look. I'm going to open TextMate, and you can see I have a UL with an ID of items and then a list item. And when one of those list items is clicked, we are going to go to the parent or the UL and append a new element. So let's go into our project, refresh the page, and if I click on it, sure enough, we have a new item appended to the UL. I can keep doing this as much as I wish. But, as you might think, when I click on one of the dynamically generated elements, nothing's going to happen. And how come? Why is that? The reason makes perfect sense. This statement right here means find all list items uh, within the items ID and add a event handler to them. But here we've appended a new one. We haven't added any kind of event handler to that. We haven't done anything to it, so of course it's not going to be bound to any kind of click event or anything like that. That's where the live method came in, and that was introduced in jQuery 1.3. And this uh, just allows for event delegation, so it allows for the binding of events to the elements on the page as well as any elements that will be created in the future. So I could then do items li.live, and we're going to listen for the click event, and then when it's clicked, we're going to do the exact same thing, like here. So I'm just going to comment that out. And now if I go back and I refresh the page, I click on it, but now when I click on new items, that's going to work correctly, and it's because we're using event delegation. So what live essentially does is it will attach an event handler uh, to the document actually and then it'll listen for the element that was closest so it'll, it'll listen for if the element that was clicked uh, matches or is closest to the target if that makes any sense so the way we're going to make this a little more easy is we're going to use the fire query uh, firefox add-on that i just discovered today from elijah so let's take a look it allows us a little more flexibility when debugging jquery so if i open this up and i click on html uh, this will live the uh, this add-on will add the event information to the page but you can see here if I open this up we're not seeing anything here and it's because the live will actually add that to the document so delegate comes in and delegate will allow us to apply a context now as you'll find later we can actually get away with this with live too but let's first do um, items and then we're going to call delegate and we're going to apply it to the list item. We're going to listen for the click event, and then when it's clicked, we're going to run it. Paste that in, and now let's listen. Come back, refresh the page, and if I click it, it's going to work all the same, but now look what happens. You can see here, thanks to the add-on that we installed, it's attaching that to the unordered list, <coughs> excuse me, the unordered list, not the document. So this is really handy because we can pass a context and say only listen for items within the items rather than bubbling up all the way to the document. So that's the primary difference with delegate. Also, live has some issues when you're uh, when you're traversing the DOM and you're applying uh, the live method as several layers. So if you're doing like items uh, dot children dot next etc etc live will actually not work unfortunately delegate will get around that where you can do as much traversing as you like now coming back to live this is confusing even explaining it it's, it's definitely confusing we can use a workaround in live which was introduced in jQuery 1.4 which allows us to pass a context so if we wanted to do something like get list items, but only the list items that are in the UL with an ID of items. Now this is how I originally thought it worked, but no, it, jQuery actually wants to hear a DOM element, not a jQuery object. So I'm going to make sure I access this, and this uh, means get the first item, or it will turn it into just a standard DOM element rather than anything wrapped in the jQuery object. So if I save that and I come back and I refresh the page, Click it a few times, it's going to work. But now you can see, because we passed the context to live, it is adding the, um, the event to the context rather than the document. So we can talk more in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.